Hi, I'm Mary. Subscribe down below. Also follow me on Insta. It's linked down below. But oh, it is such a beautiful morning. As you guys saw, I went for a walk and then did a Sarah's Day workout. I just showered and just put on a little bit of sunscreen, my, my tinted drunk elephant sunscreen and a little bit of highlighter. I can't tell if I overdid the highlighter, but I'm just going to go with it. And I have my green juice. As you guys saw, I've literally just been doing celery and lime lately for my skin and it's so good and i'm gonna run to the leasing office and pick up my package i have an amazon package so so i'll show you guys everything that was in that um but i need to do some school stuff today i'm just like really having trouble staying motivated with school i'm grinding it with the youtube but with school i'm having a lot of trouble staying motivated but you know what it's okay Everything's gonna be fine. I have an exam tomorrow, so I do have a little bit of studying I want to do today. Um, and uh, that's honestly pretty much the tea. I I'm gonna run over to Blake's at some point, but I want to have breakfast and stuff. It's already 10 a.m. So yeah, guys, I've been starting off my day with just gratitude journaling, and I kid you not, it's changed the game for me. Like I'll usually journal, but just like making it based on gratitude i don't know it's just really really amazing i feel so good and i feel so grateful and the weather doesn't hurt either i love when the weather's nice but yeah i'm just gonna go on some walks today hang out chat with you guys and yeah i'm really excited for the day okay here's what i got from amazon first thing is this egyptian musk oil and the reason I got it is because it smells so good and I'm going to wear it as a perfume um, when I'm not like going out or something. Like if I'm just going to a workout, I'm just going to, oh my God, it smells so good. It's literally the best perfume and it's literally like so affordable and just like, I don't know, sometimes I want to wear perfume, but I don't want to use my like nice perfumes just because I'm going to go work out or something. So I wanted to get this for that, and it smells so good. I'll link one down below. Um, and then I also got more Palo Santo. This is the brand I get. I really like it. I like it because it's long and thin, so it burns for a long time. Um, and again, I'll link this down below as well. I got this Wet n Wild um, blush and highlighter duo because I follow Julia Havens, if you guys know who that is. And she said that this is like the best, and I actually used it this morning. That's what I used. And it's really good. I like it a lot. Then I also got this book, um, which I've heard from like everyone that's, that it's an amazing book. It's about this guy who was in a concentration camp. He survived it and just like his spiritual journey with it. So I think it's going to be a really heavy read, but I think it's going to be a really beautiful read. Then I also got just a bunch of new Nespresso pods. But guys, I don't know if I have the Nespresso that takes the small pots or if it matters or what so i need to figure that out somehow because yeah but okay i'm like really hungry so i'm gonna make some breakfast some coffee and i'll see you guys soon and then i just had some frozen berries cacao nibs um now i'm adding cinnamon and i also added in my favorite toasted coconut flakes guys this looks so good i'm so excited to eat it. okay guys it's a while later i just got back from a walk with my mom and my grandpa and stuff. And I'm going to learn how to drive stick. One of my friends from high school is gonna teach me, so that's gonna be really fun. But I wanted to show you guys, I'm making vanilla bean cold brew. 
So I literally just got, I have these all cologne coffee grinds and they're the same ones that I have for my cold brew. Um, and then I just have some vanilla beans. So I literally took a vanilla bean, split it down the middle. Cause that's how you get like the juices out of it. And then I took one cup of coffee grinds to three cups of water. And I'm just gonna let it soak. I have like a cold brew bag, but you don't have to have one. You can use like whatever. And I'm just gonna let it soak for a while. But okay, I'm gonna go learn how to drive stick. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay guys, I didn't end up going to learn stick because it started raining. So I just watched some All American. And now I'm gonna do some stretches because my body is so sore just from the Sarah's Days workouts these past two days. So I'm gonna stretch. are so sore especially oh my god especially my hamstrings from my workout um I've been doing the Sarah's Day workouts you guys know that but oh my god my I tore my hamstrings both of them now coming up on two years and they're still just not the same um and so when I work them out they get really sore and they are fucking sore right now so I'm just rolling out and as you guys saw I did some stretching and then I'm also going to lay on my acupressure mat for a little bit before I make an early dinner um and then I want to start the book dare to lead because my friends and I are doing a book club and that's our book club book so I'm really excited to start it and read it for the book club but oh I feel like I need to do some sitting stretches too. Stretching is so underrated. I used to do yoga literally every day, so I would stretch a ton. And now I still stretch and I still do yoga, just not as much. But when I do like hardcore workouts, like the Sarah's Date ones, my body just gets so sore. Um, but I'm gonna use my acupressure mat. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. I keep it in here. This is it. And it basically is just a very pokey mat. And you can lay on it. And it kind of acts as acupuncture would act. It's just really good to have the pressure on your back. So I'm gonna lay on this while I watch All American. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's a little bit later. I went to my mom's for dinner, as you guys saw when I was leaving there, and I just made some cookies. Earthy Andy, if you guys know who that is, she posted a recipe for chocolate chip cookies. I have another batch in the oven right now. But she posted a recipe for chocolate chip cookies and they literally look so good. Um, So I had to make them. Um, so I'm very excited about them. I'm letting them cool. And I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen and have some of these. Uh -huh. 